All right, I got some movies here and some other random stuff here to show you. So let's get into the movies first, uh, just because the other stuff is a little more random. Um, I went into this comic book shop, full disclosure, I wanted to go into the comic book shop to grab something I was looking for, and uh, they basically didn't have it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, since I didn't have it, uh, I gotta go back tomorrow, but I'll show that in a different video coming up. Probably a comic haul video, because I have another comic book coming in the mail tomorrow from Amazon. So I'll probably show, do that, as put them all in one video. Sounds like a plan to me, right? But yeah, you know, I grabbed three things. I guess we'll start with those things, and we'll get into the other stuff. Um, this was $5.00. I've heard great things about this movie. This movie came out in 2019, and I have not seen it, so $5. This was factory sealed. Literally just opened it up out of the plastic. Hustlers. It's got a nice slipcover to it. I do like all that. It's got Jennifer Lopez, which um, I was literally just watching that South Park episode about her. It's got Kiki Palmer in it, who I really like in the movie Nope. It's got some good people in it. So this was $5.00. Not a bad deal. So I, you know, I will check this one out. I know it has a 4K, but this movie's about, like, strippers and stuff in Las Vegas, I believe. I believe that's what this movie's about. I don't feel like this is the kind of movie I really need, you know, in 4K, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> I've heard good things about the movies that I'm like, five bucks could do to buy it, though. And then I found this for 20 bucks, The Batman Complete Series. I never seen the show. It came out in 2004. I was not born until 2003. So, but it's got its booklet here that has all the episode guides in it. It's got all six discs in here. They're all in good condition. So I figured for 20 bucks, this is usually running about 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. That's a great deal. The only thing that this is missing is the slip cover, but I think that's fine. I don't really need that. And yeah, $20 was a good enough deal for me. Grab that. And then this was $10 on Amazon. Uh, I grabbed this. These, uh, these are both comic book shop finds. So uh, grab this off of Amazon. Prep and Landing 1 and 2. I used to watch these as a kid around Christmas time. They're fun specials by uh, the Walt Disney Animation Studios. You know, this is actually Disney's animation department making these shorts that were holiday specials. Which, you know, it's kind of rare that they actually made TV specials. They've done, like, shorts and stuff, but not these kind of specials like this. So, and they're apparent, they're really good from what I remember anyways. I haven't seen them in a while. I'm going to review these on my second channel this year for Christmas. But, uh, yeah, I grabbed these, thought it was a good deal. Um, yeah, Blu-ray. Uh... 10 bucks for these on Amazon. That was a really good deal. And it allowed me enough for points to get something I was looking forward to getting on Disney Movie Awards or insiders.com. Anyways, I found this at a comic book shop. The same comic book shop I found these. Um, this elf puppet of him in rock and roll gear, born to rock. I'm not really sure why he's in rock and roll gear. I've seen every episode of Alf multiple times and I cannot remember him wearing anything like this. But yay! I don't know. I, I love Alf. Ten bucks for this guy. If it was more than ten bucks I wouldn't have grabbed him. But for ten bucks for this guy I was like, hell yes. You're coming on with me. I love rock and roll and I love Alf. So I guess he's home with me now. Um, yeah. And then this is something over off of Amazon. It was on sale for six bucks. And I was actually going to pre order this at some point. I'm glad I didn't because the price was right. And uh, yeah, it's. See, look at this giant box for this. For this. Isn't this stupid? Anyways, this is from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which is a movie I wasn't a fan of, okay? I really wasn't. But this character. I was super excited to see. I thought they, his character was really strong in the movie. And the actual movie itself, though, not great. And that is the Namor soda. 
I don't really collect a lot of sodas. I have a lot more than I expected, but it's just because some ones I really like are on Amazon for super, super cheap. So, okay, I'm not, I'm guessing this isn't to chase. And I just saw a look at the pog on accident. It doesn't seem to be the chase, but let me see. I did kind of want the chase. I'm not going to try again, though. Pretty cool looking soda there, Namor. The chase is him with the, his, his like, um, his crown and all of his gear on. Looks so good, but I am okay with this one. Would have preferred the chase, but it is what it is. I don't think I've ever gotten a soda chase. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but looking pretty fine there. The, the paint on this, like the gold paint, really does shine. His skin color is a little bit darker than I expected. Like in the images, it seems a little bit lighter, but it feels like it's darker to me in person. Not a complaint, just an observation, though. Looks really nice. I love the... Actually, ugh, the earrings... All the paint looks really good except for his earrings. It feels like they're going off a little bit into his face, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I don't need any other chase from this movie. The Black Panthers are, are pretty cheap on Amazon, though. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're commons and don't have a limited piece count. So, A, Amazon probably isn't selling as many. And then also, Black Panther, it, I feel like that movie disappointed. Though a lot of people loved it, so I don't know if it really disappointed as much as they expected or what. I don't know. But to me, it, to me it was a disappointment. I did not care for the new Black Panther movie. Loved Namor, though. I want to see more Namor. I feel like Ironheart didn't need to be in it. And uh, a lot of the movie... You know, it was just, I don't know. Uh, I should watch it again, maybe. But I don't really have a desire to. Maybe maybe I'll like it more if I rewatch it, though. I want to be open-minded about stuff. But yeah, that's everything I grabbed. Got more haul videos coming. Got lots of stuff coming in the mail like crazy this week. I'm not, like, mostly due to Christmas shopping, but still, it's been a week. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm tired as hell, so I'm going to go to bed. Oh.